Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's Forest World. Along with the family affair, yes. We have my family members in here on YouTube to weigh in on the topic subject that we are referring to, whatever we are talking to, or talking about today. Well, we got Carter B. Had received a vinyl album cover from Beyonce's Renaissance album she has out. She also gave her a bouquet of flowers. I don't know why Beyonce is uh, sending everybody flowers these days. Shout her and Oprah just to fire with king and queen. Well, I said, should say queens for both of them. But they stomping like they men out there. They doing their own thing. And they're actually giving praise. Or well, I should say uh, homage, paying homage to the ones that they feel really, really uh, exude, uh, <coughs> exude the quality of being a megastar, superstar, or just an all around, all around good person. So... Yeah, happy birthday to Cardi B. And Cardi B was really, really happy about none other than Queen B dropping down from all her busy schedule and busy work and paying homage to her. She thought that was just so pretty and so cute. So we had Ashley <coughs> from Billboard.com put an article out on this particular subject we're referring to. And she titled it, Cardi B shares sweet birthday gear from Beyonce. Beyonce sent a beautiful birthday card and gift to Cardi B, who celebrated her 30th birthday this week. Cardi B shared a look at some pretty flowers to her Instagram stories on Friday, October the 14th, a few days after her 11th, uh, October 11th birthday. On top of the gift was a card opening, uh, open to reveal a sweet message inside, which Beyonce simply signed with B. Bay's note on the card said, Cardi, Happy birthday. Hope you had a beautiful day. All my love. God bless B. Okay. Cardi said, bitch. Thank you. And Beyonce wrote Cardi, who rang in her 30th birthday on Tuesday night with a burlesque theme party at Los Angeles. Husband Offset, Tiffany Haddish, Chloe, and Haley Bailey, and Jamie Foxx were among the stars who took part in the festivities. Now, we all know from video that that did not go down with no Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx was turned away because he had brought too many people to the show. <laughs> he had brought too many people to the festivities, and the doorman said it was just too many people in there at that time that they would have to wait or more than likely leave uh, the scene. And, of course, Jamie was like, I think they, had, well, they was going to admit Jamie and a plus one. But Jamie had came with four or five people trying to use his clout to get into this uh, birthday burlesque party that Cardi was throwing for herself for a 30th birthday party. Child, when they found out who was uh, at the door... And who didn't let them in, which they probably don't have a job at this time. The manager or the owner of the club was like, no, 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 no. Did you know who you just turned away? I don't care if you had to throw people out to bring his entourage and him in. That's exactly what you should have did. And they caught up with Jamie and tried to, you know, resolve the situation and tell him, man, you can come back in. You can come back in with your crew and your car. Now, you know, that's not true. <laughs> Came in a big car. And now, because he'll steal the show away from Cardi. Uh, with him driving in in his Rolls Royce, okay? But Jamie said, uh uh-uh, no, sir, I'm good on that. I'm good. And, 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 and no, I would not come back in there. You would not play me for a fool once again. Because when you saw me and who I told you I was, you know, I don't have no doppelganger out there. I am the true, I am the original 
and you should have did what you wanted to do now for me. No, no, no. He said, I'm good. And he got the hell on with his entourage. Don't know where they went to. Probably went down the street for Waffle House. Probably had a good meal. All right. And talked about it and Kiki and how he's going to uh, tell Offset about himself on why he couldn't get in and his wife's birthday party. But Jamie should have known. Jamie should have known better. But then again, maybe Jamie have a whole lot of folks when he's throwing a party. He don't care who show up. Just come on in, okay? And he, I don't know. Jamie was just in his feelings, and he should have took the man um, advice and to come on back in, you know, drink a lot. Just drink up all her liquor she had if you wanted to, like, make her feel bad because you got felt bad when you had to return with your entourage because y'all didn't get in because y'all were flossing. Like, y'all had that type of pool. Like, y'all had that type of weight. But the bodyguard said, I mean, a uh, person at the door, the bounce or whoever he was, he said, mm-mm, you could go in probably plus one, but that's it, that's it, because we're really, really proud of now. And I'm like, and still, that's what I'm talking about, call with the still out there, people ain't wearing their masks, because I sure didn't really see that they were wearing masks, even the people that were outside. So, mm-mm-mm, that's something else, something else. But anyway, going back to Cardi B's uh, acknowledgement that Beyonce had sent her some flowers she was very excited about that she was very emotional about that and i'm like go ahead girl cardi uh you're getting noticed by b even though i know she did something with Nicki minaj and you and Nicki minaj don't care for one another but you know she's just saying huh we might get an olive branch branch between you two if i have something to say about it okay okay but anyway offset girlfriend his wife when well, offset gifted his wife a rare richard richard millie watch made it to 30 with two cribs six whips and multiple properties and blessed kids you said earlier this week last month beyonce sent cardi a handwritten note across the top of her vinyl uh copy of her renaissance album uh, Cardi said she was going to preserve it in a glass frame with laser beams on it. I like Carla. So you took Car you took that to the next whole level because unless what she wrote on the vinyl came in pure carrot gold, then you would do those eye beams to keep people away from it or whatever. But baby girl, mm -mm, just put it in a case like you said. Let it showcase because that's all it is. Materialistic shit that you don't need to really be worried about. It can just be up there for show. Okay, like you put your little platinum and gold uh records up there that you went you know platinum and gold on that one single or that album you know showcase put the spotlight on it and you know that's about it but she doing too much time on some uh laser beams come on baby girl but anyway um to cardi b uh bay had written hard-working beautiful and talented queen thank you for always supporting me sending so much love to you and yours respect beyonce okay wasn't that cute y'all wasn't that cute but she had a little audio video too i'll let y'all hear that uh prior to us ending this particular video okay here we go what up bitch what up bitch because motherfucking beyonce sent me some motherfucking flowers uh -huh. at this point i'm about to pull up to the house <laughs> we sung with some vegan cupcakes or something. Hey, thank you so much. It's been a lot of years. Really think you got it one past me. I got up in my supper. <laughs> okay, and you can see Cardi was definitely pleased with the acknowledgement that Beyonce had given her. And that's um that's a good accolade for Cardi. Cause B just don't give out shit just to be giving out shit. Uh, she only gives it to who she wants to give it to and what she feels they deserve. Okay, so I ain't got nothing to say about it. What you got to say about the family? Get down in those comments and let me know. And again, always subscribe, like, and share the videos. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.